One of those groups is KC Common Good. They're creating an initiative called KC 360. It's focused on the community. KSHP 41 reporter Caroline Hogan was at one of their meetings last week and explains their approach. Just a few days ago, we were here at North Kansas City High School covering a shooting. That same day, we went to a meeting with Casey Common Good, who are working on their KC360 program, working to make sure that what happened here on Saturday doesn't happen ever again. We're tired. We're angry. It starts with a prayer. And help us to not push aside what we see happening with the darkness that's happening in our city. And a call to action. I feel like so many folks are suffering in silence. KC Common Goods, KC United event calling for the community to rally around the fight to end gun violence. CEO Classy Alcine says it takes more than police enforcement. The folks closest to the problem are closest to the solution. It's part of the group's KC 360 plan to reduce crime. So when people think about violence reduction, they think, well, if we just do a lot of enforcement crime will go down, or if we do a lot of intervention, crime will go down. But the plan goes deeper. It's focusing on mental health, something Pastor Claiborne Jones at Swope Health is invested in. People, their minds are messed up. We have to reach them. It's just a numbing situation, and I feel it's touched us because these are people who come for help, and they leave out helpless. Osco Bolton can speak to his experience of getting a second chance. What pulled him out was learning someone does care. They want to see you continue to be with them, even when they mess up. We just have to get more guys with my background, my experience, and then where we are today at the tables to do the work. The group believes this multi-layered approach will create action, asking everyone to play their part. How do we stop that story? because I love Kansas City. That's not our story. That will not be our story. We will not let violence win. Caroline Hogan, KSHB 41 News.